Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. I'm about to review for you or at least first impressions for you the ColourPop No Filter Foundation and that is how it comes to you. As it looks to me like there are about 40 shades in this foundation. They're broken down into fair, light, medium, medium, dark, dark, and deep dark. I was in the deep dark shade range. That's not surprising. I'm usually the last shade in foundation. Um, and still I have problems sometimes finding something dark enough. I went on their website. I was able to put in the foundation that I normally use, the shade and everything. And then they match you with a shade that's close to yours in their foundation. So I put in Maybelline Fit Me 368. That's the shade I think it is, 368. And they matched me with the ColourPop shade number 200. And their foundation is $12. It is a glass container, so you be careful, it has a pump. I also picked up the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. And this is the shade Deep Dark. That's what the front looks like. And when you open it up, there is a large square mirror. And that is the shade inside, so that's a pressed powder. And the last thing, where is it? I picked up one of the concealers, 52 Deep Dark. And I wanted to try that under my eyes. Okay, that's glass as well. At least it feels like glass. Yeah, that's glass. And you see it has the doe foot applicator. It says that this uh, foundation is developed for the selfie aid. The oil-free lightweight formula blends smoothly and is easily customizable to create the coverage you want. As always, 100% cruelty-free and vegan, and you get uh, 25 mil in this bottle. All right. They also have ingredients and all of that stuff listed on the site. I will leave a link for it down below. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lotion. This is from Bioderma. It's the Sabium Matte Control Lotion. It's supposed to give you eight hours of matte control. I use it for every time I apply makeup. As always, I'm gonna use something a little bit more hardcore for a primer on my T-zone. I'm gonna be using the makeup forever. Uh, this is their mattifying primer. I'm going to use it right there on my nose. Right where it gets the most oily. I'm going to be using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And this is more, it feels silicone -y. It feels smooth. I'm going to try this one. You guys know I usually use the uh, Smashbox, but I cannot find. You know it hides from me from time to time. Did y'all know that? It gets up, walks off the vanity. Falls underneath, rolls, dies all underneath the dresser, and I can't find it. All right, guys, I'm going to apply a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This one is the Orange Corrector. So I want to see what the coverage is going to be like, but I don't want all of my blemishes to be so distracting. So let's try to get rid of some of them at least. I'm going to also put a light, light layer of my Translucence Powder over my uh, corrector here just a light layer of it this is what I've been having to do over the summer so I say I'll try it out this way because I bought this during the summer and I think I want to try to get some use out of it so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it the way I would be wearing it anyway and this seems to keep my oil control just for a while longer it is hot it's very hot down here in Miami all right team we're gonna give this one good pump and I'm going to be using I'm shaking it up guys because you never know how long it's sat on a shelf or anything like that and we're going to use a brush to apply it because I want to see how much coverage I can get I'm going to be using my Curve Kabuki brush from Sigma that's the F83 and let's go for it All right, guys, I can say that the coverage is pretty darn good. 
but the color is pretty darn orange. Womp, womp, womp. I don't have to even bring my co-star over here to tell it's you <laughs> it's orange. It's very orange. Look at the back of my hand. I've been noticing I can get away with some oranges, but this one is very, very orange. And it looks like it's oxidizing more on my hand. And it dries down fairly good. It's very smooth. Very, very smooth. We're going to keep going. Can I work with this? We're going to see. Now, when something is too light, I could kind of work with it. When something is too dark, I can kind of work with it. But when the undertone is bad, that's when... Mm, I could tell you if I was a person who said, oh, I'm not into contouring, I'm not into highlighting, I'm just into putting on foundation and my powder and I go. If you went outside like this, and I'm indoors, I have the, um, the lighting here and everything. If I went outside like this, I'm quite sure people would say, she's orange. <laughs> She is orange. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to finish applying this. I'm not going to put any powder over it. I'm going to go right out the front door so you guys can see in natural sunlight. Because I'm finally filming during the day today. I want you to see. You can see me clear? Yeah. You can see the makeup? Mm hmm How does it look? In... Like with me looking at you, uh -huh. it looked very light. Mm -hmm. It looked too light for your skin. In my hands, my chest. But looking in the camera, it's kind of, it looked dark, like it, it matched somewhat. But real, real time, you look too light. I look too light. Mm -hmm. Does it still give that orange look or I just look casket sharp? It's a creamy orange, yeah. <laughs> it's a creamy like orange. Like an icicle pop, the orange icicle pops. Oh my God. Okay. But it really, through the camera, it'll trick you because it looked dark in the camera. It dark in the camera. Flip it over, let me see. Because he could see, I couldn't see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wish one of my neighbors was outside. I was like, hey girl, how I look? And if that's the closest shade to me, and that's their words, not mine, because they took the uh, foundation that I normally use. I use that Maybelline Fit Me a lot. So, and I really like it. So, so if they're saying that's the closest match to me, then it's a no-go for me as far as color is concerned. The feel of it is very nice. The coverage is very nice. As you can see, it's covered pretty good. Um, it looks to me like you're going to have to set it pretty fast because I do see a little creasing. So you would have to get your powder and set it fast. This is the No Filter Concealer. I'm going to add that in. This is in shade. Now see, that's neutral. Wow, that's shade 52. To me, that's more neutral. It's like if the foundation was the color of this um, concealer, I would be good to go. It's not really highlighting under my eyes or anything, but it's a nice neutral tone wow that's crazy so color pop maybe you need to look at the concealers i'm wondering oh, it could be an maybe i need to go back and get the exact match for this concealer okay so we desperately need some yellow up in here a derma blend powder this is in warm saffron and it looks so pretty guys it really does oh man the concealer is awesome okay <laughs> that is funny all right all right all right all right all right guys 
also let's add in some things to try to deepen it up we're gonna use the naked skin concealer this is the very deepest one they have this one is extra deep I know I put powder all over my face and everything I had to do what I had to do so I'm gonna move fast with this We're going to use some of our CoverGirl bronzer and try to bring a little color back to our face. And for everybody who has been complimenting me on my skin, thank you so much. Um, actually, I've been using this uh, sheet mask. It has uh, turmeric in it. And uh, this came to me from the company Octoli. Uh, they were working with Yasel. I put the name right here. So they allowed me to try out the sheet mask and I really, really like it. It's really clearing up my skin. Anything with turmeric in it really works for me. So thank you guys for the compliments. I'm gonna go ahead and do something with my lips. I'm using ColourPop's BFF3. And I'm going to use one of my favorite uh, lip glosses or lip shimmers, child. This is from Iman. And I've used this several times before. I get compliments every time I use it. It's in the shade Muse. This was just a little sample, but I'm going to use the heck out of this sample. It's so pretty. I'm going to go and do something with my hair really quickly. And I'm going to come back with my final thoughts. So stay tuned. All right, guys, and this is your completed look. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in today. You guys saw what I went through with the color um, pop uh, no filter foundation. I think it would be a oily girls go to like an everyday foundation if you could find your match in it. It was too orange for me entirely too orange I had to it, it was it's orange okay the shade 200 runs orange I don't know about the other shades but that one runs orange the concealer is the bomb I love this this is beautiful and get the concealer try the concealer you will love the concealer once you put your powder over it it's gorgeous. I totally forgot to use the ColourPop powder that I bought. I bought it and forgot all about it. So let's just tap it on right quick. We're going to pretend I used it because uh, I'm not going to be using the foundation anymore unless they make some changes. But we're going to pretend that I used the powder. It's pretty sheer. I'm looking in the mirror here. It's pretty sheer, but and it does give you that like um, that Photoshop look. It does look pretty blurred when you apply it. So the powder might be a keeper, and it's very flat. I love how it you know how it is. You can keep this inside of your pocketbook, your purse. I say pocketbook. You can keep this inside of your pocketbook or your purse. It's very travel friendly. I really really like that. So the concealer and the powder so far because I am, I am looking at the places I put the powder and it really does look blurred and pretty so that might be a keeper guys it really might be uh, the foundation uh, they just have to work on those undertones and um, I think it would be nice I think it would be really nice if the undertones were a little bit different um, I'm not sure what my lighter complected sisters are thinking about it because I was watching people darker skin tone. Maybe the lighter shades are pretty good in it, but um, I, I, I don't. I'm not a fan of this particular shade 200. All right, so that's where I'm gonna leave you guys with it. I thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, my hair is in a two strand twist using a new product. So I really want you guys to see how I achieve these curls. So stay tuned for that. And that is it. All right. Cyber kisses. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.